hello guys I am coming back to you guys with another video this is actually a uh, detangling um, this curly mop on my head um, this is actually the Nadula uh, super curly or something like that some I don't know but um, it's I love this hair I actually love the brand um, so we're just gonna start with um, how I detangle mine and how I get it to actually look the way it's supposed to do. I actually detangle mine without water first and then I go and spray the water on it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Now I actually start by sectioning off. I actually like to do the back first. So I'll section all of that off. That's why you see this at the top of my head because I section it off. And I like to comb out the back first. You use a trusty white toothbrush. It is the most easiest because I don't have a wide tooth comb. Now what I do is after I've detangled it, I go ahead and spray it. This is water and conditioner. And I actually use um, the Shea Moisture, I think it is, um, conditioner. I think that's what it is. Well, I'll have to look. No, actually, this is uh, water and Carol Carol's daughter. I like the Carol's daughter conditioner, and I'll go in with my trusty Durham brush, and just it actually helps define the curl pattern. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is once it's wet with the conditioner and water. And then I go ahead and I like to use really any brand mousse. Um, as long as it's mousse, it honestly, to me, it works. This is actually from the 99 cent store. So, yeah, I like to use this. So I'll go ahead and I'll spray a little bit in my hand. About that much. It foams up, so. Go ahead and then I actually rub it all through the hair. Then let that alone. It'll do what it's gonna do. Then I'll go to the next section and do the same. I actually like this brush better um, just because it kind of detangles a little bit faster even though we're really not in a rush but it does it detangles better than the other brush so I use both of them whichever one I actually can find and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing with this oh, I got water everywhere. I don't drench it in water now. I'll just add a little water um, just to coat it enough. And then we'll go back in with our Durham brush to find the curls. That side was pretty easy. And if you can see this pattern, guys. Then I'll go and I'll do the same thing to the other side. 
that side was a smaller section so it was actually easier to um, just put it in there so this is how it is it's wet and we'll go ahead and we'll go to the top now This part actually takes the longest for me only because some of my real hair is down and um, side of this. So I'll go ahead, like I said, and I'll section it. I only section it honestly in two sections um, for each part. I do the back first and then I'll go ahead and I'll comb through and I do the top. Um, just to make it easier but I mean there's really no right way or wrong way if you want to detangle it you detangle it out you feel like you need to detangle it it's no right and wrong way and I only got my glasses on guys you'll see them throughout some videos that I'm gonna post I only got my glasses on right now because it's kind of hard for me to read stuff um, yeah, I'm going blind. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to do the same thing to the top. And you don't really want to soak it in the water, especially if you're doing, um, if you have your hair down. You don't really want to soak it in the water. I like to just coat it enough because then I'll do the Durham brush and it'll actually let me comb through it or brush through it evenly. So... And if I look like I'm looking off, I'm actually looking at my mirror. There's a mirror behind here that actually is helping me look and see what I'm doing. So um, I'll go ahead and I'll do the same thing for this. It's only enough to coat it, like I said. That part is actually done. And then I'll go to my other section. And I'll do the same thing. Maybe you can see how mad it, not even mad it so much. It's just because it's been up in a bun or up pushed up on my head for a couple days. And I haven't went through it and combed it. So it's the only reason it looks like that. It pretty much combs out so easily. So that's one of the big pluses with this hair. And it actually goes back to the same pattern it does, you know, when it's wet and wavy. It actually goes back to that same pattern. If you can see it now, it's just, it's wavy. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and coat it in this water. And this is water and conditioner, like I said. It's the um, water in the Carol's Darter conditioner. We'll use our Durham brush again. And then this is pretty much my last part. Well, I actually go through mine once it's done. I'll actually go back over it. back over it and then um, actually put my hair mousse in it again. I'm actually running out of mousse. I gotta actually go get some more. I need to stock up on it. And then I'll rub my fingers through it. And I really can't see right now. See how it looks. Because like I said, I do have my own hair out in it. So, but like I said, as you go through it, you'll see the final product. I love this hair. Like, 
it has the most bounce back honestly that I've ever ever used any curly hair that I've used have never bounced back like this hair so that's why it is actually one of my favorite brands and I've been since I've actually watched Queen so shout out to Queen Nyjah I watched her um give tutorials and everything like that on the brand and then I decided to try it myself so as you can see this is what it looks like when it's re wet and the texture everything comes back to normal I mean you see it coming on my the beginning of my video and it was pretty dry but <laughs> it did come out nicely um so that's it Thank you for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. I'll be coming back with some bangers. I just have to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, actually, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see any um, tutorials, makeup, eyebrow, anything like that? I'm actually, it's going to be a variety channel. So um, there's going to be a lot of stuff on there. There's going to be vlogging. There's going to be makeup on there. There's going to be um, DIYs. There's going to be cooking. All kind of stuff. It's just a mixture of everything. So like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye, guys.